Hi listeners, uh, this is Sonam, uh, your nutritionist and uh, you know today I'm going to talk about what exactly being healthy is. Does it mean to be um, exact your weight? Does it mean to be underweight? Does it mean to be thin? Does it mean wearing small size? Well, a big cross to all of it. You know, there are a lot of people uh, who try to lose weight and uh, you know, it seems that nothing works upon them. Neither their good workouts, neither their diets, you know, nothing works upon them. They're just stuck there. And what happens is that, that, you know, they end up giving up on everything. They believe that nothing is working, so might as well end up eating junk, might as well just stop doing any workouts. You know, I would really advise and I would really suggest that there are some some types of bodies and there are some hormonal imbalances in the bodies that there comes a phase in life which phase could be of a four to five years could be a few months that you know the body refuses to lose weight and what you're supposed to do is that not concentrate on that figure of that wing on that wing scale what you're supposed to do that is remember that whatever you're eating should be healthy should be of good quality should be organic and at the same time you must be able to use your bodies that means your physical activity should be there you know would, would you really want that you know you end up uh, becoming a perfect size or uh, you know you end up wearing a small size but at the end of the day you know your your energy levels are so low that you really can't get up even to you know fetch a glass of water to yourself Whereas even if you are 10 kilos, 15 kilos overweight, but you know you're physically active, you know that you're able to walk for 40 minutes, you know you know that you're able to do all the daily chores uh, and you feel fresh. So what is more important is that understand the signals, what your body is giving to, understand and measure the energy levels rather than, you know, standing on weighing scale again and again, again and again and torturing yourself and eating that food, keeping in mind that, you know, you're going to, next day end up gaining few grams you know that that is that is really brutal to your to your own body i would really request to everyone each and everyone seeing this video that you know you are the only one who can measure your own body in terms of fitness level stop comparing your bodies with any other body each and every body frame each and every hormonal balance is different from yours you know don't get too excited and don't don't push yourself too much because you know you want to look like somebody else or you know you want to fit into a particular size dress it's okay to wear a medium size it's okay to wear a large size end of the day what matters is that you should be happy you should get up happy you should sleep healthy you know you should you should be able to you know eat good food and you should know what you're eating is giving you energy rather than making you drowsy you know just keep a check on the alcohol level just just check out the cigarettes from your life and uh, i would actually say check out the alcohol also but that's okay if you want to drink it but just keep a check on it you know eat fresh food uh, don't heat it too much so you know keep these things in mind and end of the day just be happy and um, just a re reminder again if your weight is stuck don't get worried just keep eating good healthy food consult your di dietitians or nutritionists how they can help you in giving you a good routine where you can eat the healthy food and maintain all your nutrient levels so as of now just be happy we would um, term health as uh, what is your height and what is your weight so let's say you know if you are 5'3 or if you are 5'4 uh, then you are a female or a male and then we have those frames which would say that you know this should be your ideal weight now um, what about the age what about your ex other factors what about your medical background where does all that fall so you know there is a big myth uh, that you know a particular weight frame which is set by certain charts defines your health so i'm going to give you a very classic example uh, let's say for all the indian females um, you know an indian female who is a standard height of let's say 5 3 and when she was 20 years old she would probably be studying and she would be in you know probably working or would be in college and she would just google up and see you know that what should be my ideal weight so as one of the charts came up on the google the other google said that you know as per your 5 3 height and you being a female your weight should be between 50 to 57 kilos now she she checked her weight on the wing scale and it said 58 so you know she was pretty okay she said you know it's okay i am fine but um, you know as the time went by you know she had a child she became a mother she was working full time she was taking care of her house husband and you know everything you know and uh, she she was at the age of 35 and you know then she again googled up and 
the same thing came in front that you know as per the age of five three high as per the height of five three your weight should be between 50 to 57 and she stood on the weighing scale and the weighing scale said that you know you were 63 so what happened you know she went into the major uh, trauma and the whole depression that you know i am overweight and i'm not healthy so does it really make sense uh, you know if you go in the depth uh, it really doesn't you know it's okay to be 62 63 or probably five kilos plus whatever is the standard chart that is saying uh, because what really matters is that you know when you get up in the morning uh, do you feel energetic do you feel pepped up you know how are your anxiety levels how are your bp you know if you have a fluctuative bp and even if you are in the perfect frame of weight it doesn't really help you anyways so probably you know gaining two kilos more and uh, feeling the strength to deal with things and feeling the strength to be physically active makes sense so you know probably i'll give you my example so let's say you know as per my ideal weight uh, you know height you know i should be two kilos or three kilos less on the wing scale but you know the moment i try to touch that particular weight what happens i feel weak i don't feel the strength to deal with things i feel sleepy during the you know afternoon time and that's the sign of my body that you know i need to put on probably two more kilos so that you know i am able to deal better because you know my physical body needs that kind of strength so you know weight is very interesting so what what is the what is the whole idea to talk to you today is that you know listen to your body symptoms you know if you are physically strong you'll be mentally strong to deal with life so you know you should you should feel the physical strength you know which can actually help you to take challenges in life so whatever food you are eating uh, should not be eaten with the fear or with the fear of gaining weight but should be eaten with the joy of giving you strength right so you know the i'll be really quick on this and i'll be closing it that you know don't get into the whole vicious circle of checking your height and weight frames uh, it is important to lose weight and be near the standards of the you know kilos that are mentioned in those scale but at the same time you need to listen whether your body is comfortable in those standards whether you are feeling weak or you know you 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 have that strength to get up in the morning there's no point uh, you know uh, touching the perfect bmi and you know get up in the, getting up in the morning with no strength